Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for supporting my channel and sending me donations. I really appreciate you guys. I love you all. Um, so I just wanted to say that I do not do personal readings. I know people have been asking me um, and I've been forgetting to say every time I start readings, I just forget to say that I don't do any personal readings. So I just wanted to clear the air about that. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, guys. Um, I might start back sometime next year, but I'm not too sure right now. Um, so, so let's get started on your reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. I already shuffled and split the deck off camera, so let's just get started pulling your cards. Um, please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for you. It's not going to be everybody's situation or story. Okay, and also remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about someone in your energy or even third party energy. Okay, so really use discernment. Okay, Gemini, so... Let's see what's going on. Let's get these overall energies. Bottom of the deck, we have hidden motivations. Okay, so somebody has hidden motives. I don't know if these hidden motives are good or bad. I see people um, smiling on this card. I don't know. She looks very weird, though. <laughs> so I don't know about that smile. But um, let's see. So we have Angels of the Four Directions. Oh, I never pulled this card. We're gonna get a we're gonna read that. Let me see. Angels of the Four Directions. So Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron. I feel like it's more archangels though. But let's just see. We're gonna see what the book says. What else for the overall energy? So I feel like you have guidance everywhere. Spirit. Uh, these spirit guides and these angels are surrounding you right now so let, let's see wow the healing light yeah you're healing you're really um you, you guys could be a healer here you're an angel to people you're really doing a good job with your healing work it looks like yeah this energy is very beautiful wow what, what else for gemini one more for the overall energy. True love. Beautiful. Yeah, so true love is coming in. All oh, this energy is making me emotional. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess because I'm clair clairvoyant, I guess. I don't know. Or just an empath. But um, so, yeah, true love is coming in. You're healing. So you're attracting what this is. Let me see. Let me see the book. Cause I'm interested in what this card is saying. Your angels and your spirit guys, they love you. Like they favor you a lot. Okay. So we have angels of the four. Okay. 164. Let's see what this says. This is a new deck. So yeah, Uriel, Raphael, Michael, and Gabriel. Yeah. Okay. So I was on the right track. It's just, I didn't say Uriel. Uriel and um that's the only one I left out. I said Metatron instead of Uriel or Uriel or whatever. So it says the light of an angel reaches out in every direction, upright or reversed. This indicates a powerful connection taking place at this time. The upright position reveals the dynamic presence of archangels Uriel and Archangel Raphael. Uriel, the angel of the north, is a source of immensely valuable ins inspiration. If you're working on a creative project or if you just need some new ideas on some old issues, Uriel is ready and willing to help. This angel connects you to the universal energy and Akashic information that exists all around you. So call on so call on Uriel to leave any dark confusion behind and bring the insight you require at this time. This fire of God will certainly light up your life. The next messenger in the in this upright card is Raphael, the archangel of the east. This wonderful angel supports you with matters of love, healing, children, and relationships. Yeah. So invite his presence to help resolve your love and relationship issues and to bring the physical healing you desire. The energy of this angel is so powerful he is often called the miracle worker. When you receive this card upright, you know that it's time to open your heart and your life to Raphael's loving assistance. The miracle you seek is closer than you think. Okay, so my intuition was on point that time. Okay, so Raphael and Uriel, Michael and Gabriel are the angels that you should be calling on right now. But I feel like it's these two that we named is Uriel and Raphael. Okay, so yeah, you're you're healing so you can go towards true love. This is so nice. So you're you're following your intuition. I feel like you are very scared, 
but you're following your intuition here you're going towards something that you love whether it be a person or a job or whatever this is gemini's energy always just makes me feel good i guess i don't know i'm on the gemini cusp guys for those of you that don't know i have like a um i'm on my birthday is may 20th so i'm right literally right there the last day of taurus and i have a taurus moon though so i guess that kind of like takes over a little bit i don't know but yeah so this is really nice so let, let's see let's see what um what's brewing here <clears throat> yeah you guys are healing right now you're very divinely guided divinely protected here yeah you're one of the chosen ones here gemini you are <laughs> you really really are so let's see for gemini spirit what do we have bottom of the deck don't want to hear it yeah you're blocking any negativity out you don't have time you don't feel like listening to people's bullshit you're just focused on yourself and your healing at this time yeah you are so what else 444 could be significant so that means you're on the right path here your angels are really guiding you yeah aligning yourself with the universe beautiful what else for gemini spirit please hater okay this came out in um cancer's reading could be dealing with the cancer so you do have haters that comes with it if you're a light being trust me you're gonna have a lot of opponents here on this earth um what else for gemini writing it out and um standing your ground ready for battle defending yourself and writing it out yeah you're you're on a very very uh, spiritual journey here this journey is made specially for you okay then we have bugaboo so somebody here could be getting on your damn nerves being a bugaboo okay and you're just like over it you don't want to hear it um uh, i feel like you know how to balance your emotions out really well we're going to clarify these and see what these are about at the end i'm going to pull some um advice cards from my moonology deck and some um cards to clarify the signs that might be involved in this reading so let's see um for gemini spirit why is aligning with the universe here why is aligning with the universe here for Gemini? Why is aligning with the universe here for Gemini? Yeah, you're coming into a period of... I feel like something here is going to be long term. <laughs> you know, you're meant for something here. Why is um, aligning with the universe here for um, Gemini spirit? Bottom of the deck, yeah, nine of cups. Your wish fulfillment is coming in. You're going to be very happy. Okay, this could be you, abundant all on your own. You're sitting pretty um, or handsome. Yeah, you could be dealing with the cancer. So maybe go check cancer's reading out. <laughs> yeah, you're abundant. You're very abundant. Or this is coming into <laughs> towards you. Your manifestations are, excuse me, they're coming in. So why is aligning with the universe here? Because you've done the work or you're doing it. You're right there at the very end okay your strength you're very strong you're very courageous very bold okay very honorable and respectable person okay so you're building the strength up maybe to do something or you're just you're just stepping into your power like this is so nice yeah you're stepping into your power right now could be dealing with the leo this could be a leo or you could have leo highly aspected in your chart somewhere but yeah let's see what else we're aligning with the universe the chariot yeah cancer so definitely strong cancer energy what else for aligning with the um universe yeah you're very determined you're a very hard worker you have a lot of ambition determination here what else for aligning with the universe the star look at these major arcanas so for some of you, it could be somebody coming towards you to heal a situation with you. They're very determined to come towards you. They're building that courage up and that strength to approach you here because they want to heal something with you. Okay, or this could just be you. You're healing. You're a healer. Some of you guys could be like tarot readers like me or spiritualists. Um, you guys are maybe seen in the public eye. People are seeing your strength, seeing how you align with the universe. People are really um, looking up to you, I feel, really admiring you and whatever you do for a living or just you in general. You're very resilient okay some of you guys this this sounds like me y'all some of you guys could be in the Taurus gemini cusp like me <laughs> okay i have other gemini placements in my chart so let, let's see what is the chariot 
What is this about? Where are you going? Or who's coming? What is the chariot spirit for Gemini? Yeah, you're taking action in your life. You ain't playing. You are not playing here. So yeah, the five of swords and the eight of swords. Yeah, you're moving on from something that, that kept you stuck okay or this could be somebody coming towards you that is trying to keep you stuck so really um pay attention to your intuition i feel like you are because you're aligning yourself with spirit and the universe and you know everything so this could be you here that was possibly stuck for a very long time but i feel like you're coming out of this stuck energy you feel stuck uh, mentally um this could be like a self-imposed imprisonment or you could have just been really really stuck some of you guys could have even been locked up for a while here. Or this is someone else. But I feel like whoever this is that's coming towards you, for some of you, they could be coming to play mind games with you or something to keep you stuck. So really watch out for that energy. And if that's not the case, it's just you're coming out of this here. You're moving forward. From both things, even if it's somebody that's that was, this is probably past energy, somebody that was trying to keep you stuck, you're moving out of this because these are just clarifiers here. Yeah, I feel like you're moving out of that for real. You're not you're not worried about whatever this is. Um, fear could have been holding you back. You felt trapped, powerless. Yeah. Somewhere it could have been causing conflict with you, really been stuck in their ego. Um trying to win something at all cost here being very manipulative playing mind games or this is you gemini because those are your cards but let's see why is hater here yeah someone here's a hater the sun so they're going to be exposed <laughs> i mean i feel like you see this person for who they are you're just focused on your success so leo energy is here strong could be dealing with the leo or have these placements but um yeah they're, they're exposed here you you see who this person is what else for hater you're going towards your happiness your success you're not really thinking about this you're taking action in your life you're not thinking about the shit what else for um hater yeah three of cups <laughs> what else for hater could have been in a friend group five of pentacles yeah this is you leaving this hater out in the cold here this person could have been dependent on you for money or something like that or maybe you share kids with this person or maybe they were just a, uh, just a group of friends that was hating on you maybe those have been exposed here okay but i feel like you are leaving someone out in the cold or you have left them out in the cold or this is you that felt left out in the cold for a long time and despite what your haters are trying to do or say about you you are still a happy joyful soul you don't let nobody bring you down you're very secure with yourself you know who you are or for some of you you're finding out who you are and that's great okay so yeah i just feel like you know you're coming out of a very very tough cycle here like your whole life is about to transform you're going through a big transformation it looks like yeah and it looks like um maybe there's a reconciliation that's coming up that's going to make you happy here um amongst family and friends or maybe this could be one particular person we're going to clarify these yeah what is the three of cups what is the three of cups yeah ten of swords whoever this is it could be a third party situation for some of you but whoever these friends are or these people here that like to gossip and talk shit about you yeah with the three of swords they stabbed you in the back one too many times you've been through a lot of shit here gemini way too much shit and I don't know Th this shit has been exposed though but the worst is over the ten of swords is just like the worst is over amongst whatever this is and you're coming out into a happy time it's time for you to have fun and celebrate it's time for you to get out and maybe meet new people start you know make new friends find your true love okay i feel like it's here for you make new connections okay so what is this five of pentacles death yeah <laughs> this is a, the end the end is is here for the hard times gemini the end is here okay um you definitely ended something with someone and left their ass out in the cold here okay somebody feels left out in the cold by you or or this is somebody that did this shit to you okay they left you out in the cold and probably sent you into a transformation could be a scorpio but i just feel like yeah your whole life is transforming so whatever hardships you're going through you're going through this transformation process it might not be you know easy right now but i'm seeing that in the cards you're riding this shit out 
you're writing this shit out. You, you're learning how to balance yourself out so that way you can get to your happy ending. Okay. But something here definitely ended. Um, and I feel like you're going through a, a big transformation process. You're purifying your energy. You're cleansing your energy out, your energetic field. Okay. You're leaving things behind that are not serving you. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, I just love Gemini's readings, y'all. <laughs> they're very so, they're, they're just so much, they're so simple. Okay, they're very simple. Very, very simple. They're very easy going. Okay, so let's see. Why is I'm um, standing your ground here? Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're not, you're not letting nobody come in and out of your life. I feel like this is what the betrayal is. People like to come in and out and do whatever the fuck they want. You're standing your ground against this shit. If you're not going to be stable and secure and give me what I need, then exit stage left. Okay. Well, what else for standing your ground? And defending yourself. Okay. I'm going to clarify this Knight of Wands. <clears throat> the Magician. Yeah, you're in your power. That is you, Gemini. What else for um standing your ground? Gemini Virgo energy. Ten of Pentacles. Look at you. I just feel like this is your energy here. So whatever hardships you were going through here in this five of pentacles, if you you were broke, hungry, starving, homeless, whatever, or just people betraying you, you're going to be in this here. You're manifesting a very loving, kind hearted individual here that you can start a family with something solid. Some of you guys are just manifesting your, um, your career and your, your finances are going to look really, really good here. Someone here could be very passionate about you and they're run, rushing in to marry you here. You're manifesting this person or they're manifesting you. They want a long-term stability with you here. This could be this true love situation. What is this Knight of Wands? Some of you guys are getting a windfall of money. Your money's going to look really good or you're building some type of legacy. What is this Knight of Wands? Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, so somebody here is, this could be, or this is you. Or maybe this is you. <laughs> this is you standing your ground against whatever this this person is or whatever they're doing. You're setting boundaries because you don't want this person to be running in and out of your life. This could have been a player in the past or something. What else for the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords? Maybe this person is coming in to give you some type of truth. Maybe you're dealing with another air sign. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to work, work with you here. Um, maybe you taught this person a lot about themselves and their ways. Okay. And you're just not taking more of the bullshit. But I see that they're trying to manifest you because this is what they really want with you. A long-term commitment, marriage, something traditional. Okay. Yeah, they want to, I don't know, maybe some of you guys are get, uh, stepping into a, a career field where there's going to be a nice partnership with you and someone. Um, maybe you're going to meet this true love person at work. Okay. Some of you guys are going to go into like management positions, uh, uh, like uh, authoritative positions here. You could be a manager or something like that, but it's going to bring you a lot of success and money here. So whatever these collaborations are, whatever this um, partnership is, is going to bring you success. Okay. So this Knight of Wands is not a bad energy. Okay. This could be somebody that you already know, but if this Knight of Wands is being clarified by the King of Swords, this person has matured, maybe their communication um, it's going to be a little bit better now. Or this is you. You're going to be standing your ground when this person comes in. And, and I feel like um, you ain't taking no shit. Yeah. You set boundaries with this person. But they're very passionate about you, so they're coming. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. So let's see. Why is writing it out here for Gemini? The lovers. I just felt like this was going to come out eventually. <laughs> the lovers yeah so this is a connection that you've possibly been holding on to for a very long time or you've just been having hope and faith that whatever this is coming in for you is going to be successful because you could already notice true love for some of you, you do know this uh person for most of you i feel um yeah but there's a strong partnership coming together coming into balance i feel like you and this person are the perfect blending of energies you um you can collab and make money with this person. You can love this person as well because a lot of people can't work side by side with someone that they are in a personal relationship with, like a romantic one. But I feel like this relationship is going to be that way. You guys are going to be very, very abundant together. You guys know how to work together really, really well. Okay, it could have been a choice between two in the past. This could have been what the betrayal was with the lovers and the three of cups and the ten of swords here with the three of pentacles. Yeah, it could have been a, a situation where... um someone maybe chose someone else over you or you're going to have to make a decision here about whether you want to work with this person or not 
but I just feel like you and this person help each other grow. This could be a twin flame connection where um, you guys have married back your insecurities and the, you help each other grow by sending each other um, telepathic communication, sending um, thoughts of love and comfort to one another to go through these shadow periods so you can come out together. That could be what this is. You've been riding this connection out for a very long time. Yeah, and I feel like it's coming into balance. Yeah, with the fool. Someone taking action towards you, following their intuition, their heart to be with you. Okay? What is this riding it out with the lovers? Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like in the past, someone here has been very immature and childish. Okay? Someone here needed to heal maybe some childhood wounds. Or oh, this could have been due to a child. Maybe this person couldn't have, uh, could have um, left you behind because they had a child with someone else or had a, a commitment somewhere else or a partnership elsewhere, a marriage elsewhere that they had to tend to before they could come back to you. Maybe they needed to clear this karma out or this karmic debt out because they maybe was with the karmic. Okay, what, what else for the lovers in the page of wands in reverse? Yeah, the Knight of Cups, and now they can make their move. Yeah, so this is why the connection was probably imbalanced before. Maybe there was an imbalance in the connection that you had with someone, a divine counterpart, because um, they, yeah, they're probably coming to be honest with you about this contract that they were possibly stuck in, or this is you. And so now that they they kind of like I see that they're kind of like free to kind of like move forward to you to bring you this offer of love to tell you how they feel about you here yeah what is this page of wands in reverse someone here could have lost a child I'm sorry to hear that if um, that's the case or this this is just means communication has stopped between you and this person or there was a lot of immature communication what is this page of wands in reverse Yeah, seven of swords. They were childish. They lied to you or they ran away from you. Yeah, they walked away. Somebody here walked away from you, which is why this is here. Somebody here cheated or lied or did something. Yeah. So this person, whoever this is, had to go through a lot of shadow work or get rid of things that are not serving them. So that way this connection can come into fruition because um, they had to walk away. So I feel like this is for your, for your better good, um, Gemini. I do, because there was something here that happened. Someone was being sneaky, okay. Working with a third party, maybe at work or something, and they weren't being honest. But um, I don't know. I feel like they're coming in to possibly, you know, tell you the truth here about what has happened and what went down, why they were so in and out, what this betrayal was about. So I guess, I don't know, you might be cutting this person off for some of you you know but let's just see um this third party could have been a hater here whoever this is that tried to break you two up they could have definitely been a hater somebody that was hating on your connection so what is the potential outcome for gemini potential outcome judgment bottom of the deck page of swords one more for the potential outcome the moon all these major arcanas bottom of the deck page of pentacles so yeah an offer coming in maybe a new job offer or someone wanting to start something with you or um a message about some good news is coming in so i feel like the outcome is um a decision that you're going to have to make you're going to have to listen to your intuition here because maybe there's something that's going to still be hidden that um you need to get down to the bottom of Your yeah, angels are going to be guiding you and helping you here along the way. Judgment could also mean karma here. I feel like you don't see this, this coming or you don't see this right now. But there is good karma coming here. I feel like it's hidden right now from you on purpose. There could be fear here. Let me see something. What is this moon for the potential outcome? What is this moon for the potential outcome? King of Pentacles. What is this moon for the potential outcome? Please, with the judgment. 
Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel I feel like you're going to be releasing control of something. You're going to be releasing something. It could be about your finances. You have been very worried about your finances. Okay, but there's good karma coming in. You're going to be very stable, secure. You could be on a Taurus Gemini cusp with all these pentacles here, like I was saying in the beginning. Um, your finances are going to look really, really good here. Okay. Yeah, then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So your match with the King right here. Yeah, whatever these responsibilities are or whatever this burden here that was something here that was causing you a burden is going to be worked out for you here. I feel like you don't see this coming. You could be worried that it's not going to come in or something here is not coming, but you're going to be stable here or you're going to meet somebody like this. This is your partner that you're going to meet once you release control because this sounds like twin flame union. Once you release control of this person or um, because you could be energetically really holding on to this person tight. OK, or this could be that this person is going to surprise you by releasing or, or by letting their guards down here because somebody has maybe came into some money or is, is now stable and grounded and is ready to take on what this connection has to bring. OK, and so they're really they're letting their guards down here with the four of pentacles, releasing control. OK, really healed. Somebody is healing this about themselves and they're more grounded, more stable, more secure within who they are and what they can bring to the table here. And this is the judgment here. This is the good karma that spirit is bringing into your life. OK, you're being guided towards this person, divinely guided or they're being guided towards you. And I feel like you don't see this coming. There, there could still be fear around this, but really listen to your intuition. OK, there could be somebody here trying to break you two apart, but I feel like that's just a th not even a thought like they're slowly seeing that they can't break you to a part if that's what if, if that's the case you know so let's get your advice for gemini spirit please and thank you for gemini what is their advice and then we're gonna pull some signs and see advice for gemini spirit We have new moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Yeah. Then we have first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. New moon in Aquarius. Open up to change. Bottom of the deck. Last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. So somebody can have a lot of Virgo in their chart. And like I said, Leo. I'm feeling that strongly. Could even be in Aquarius with all this air energy too. You and Aquarius is get along really well. Your fellow um, air sign. Okay. So let's see what signs could be significant. Yeah, so I feel like somebody has, has been humbled. <laughs> somebody has been humbled here, and they're coming in humbled. Okay, they have a lot of passion and desire about you, but they are still grounded and stable. I feel like somebody matured, you know? Can't be mad at that. I mean, yeah, you can kind of look at the past and be like, yeah, you fucked up. You did some stupid shit, but, you know, at least some people are willing to change, and that's what matters, okay? You can't punish people forever for the shit that they've done. So I'm a very forgiving person anyway. I don't like to hold on to shit. Doesn't mean I have to take you back, but you know, it depends. It just depends. People are worthy of second chances only if they show you that they're that they're gonna put in the work and that they've changed. So let's see. What signs could be significant here? Venus and Virgo, okay. What signs could be significant here? Yeah, a lot of Virgo. Mercury and Virgo, Venus and Aquarius. North Node and Aries. Yeah, I think Cancer had that too. Sun and Leo. Yes, told you someone is a sun uh a Leo. <laughs> okay, what else? Moon and Aquarius. Rising sign in Libra. Rising sign in Virgo. Okay. Mercury and Pisces, Jupiter and Libra, Mars and Aquarius, Moon and Scorpio, Mercury and Taurus. Okay, a lot a lot of my placements are here. Venus and Leo, Mars and Libra, Venus and Scorpio. Two more spirit, Mercury and Aquarius. Okay, Jupiter in Virgo and a Jupiter in Aquarius. Did I say that? 
I don't know if I said that or not. I can't find another card. Or Venus and Scorpio. I think I said that. So, bottom of the deck, Jupiter and Leo. Yeah. So, this was your reading, guys. I hope this resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.